Hi, I'm Henry of blueheronarts.com. Now I'm going to show you the process of carving this uh, very special artist name seal. Um, it's in, uh, for Professor Gabriel Chaco in Spain. Uh, he's a professor in literature and the philosophy. And he is very knowledgeable with Chinese culture. And uh, he adopted this uh, pen name for uh, his uh, Sumier painting called the Rain, um, Rain Man. It's very poetic. Um, I'm doing this in a uh, style known as the Qi Bai Shi style. Uh, it's basically a single cut stroke, like a painting you cannot repeat. Um, so I tried to use this uh, huge knife. So basically, um, we try to simulate the one cut style because I already designed all the chipping effects on the computer. So I kind of uh, follow this uh, design exactly. So we have this Qi Bai Shi style without, it, without taking the risk maybe uh, in, in one stroke. So I try to do it in multiple cuts. And you can cut on, on, on one direction, so you have one uh, side smooth, one side coarse. That's basically what this uh, style is. It's called pushing. If you're not enough, you can push the other one in the same direction. So all the strokes look like uh, ring uh, lines, you know, dripping. But the direction we carve usually uh, the opposite of writing. So we do upside down. Lots of muscle needed. Stroke cutting Chibashi style. Some very close, some sparse. Oh, Got it. No repeat. <laughs> Chibashi carved a stone um, for more than 300 uh, stones for himself alone. So he carved until the uh, very late old age. This must be a very strong man, strong with a strong wrist. His painting also reflect the power he practiced, developed in the silly engraving art. This is double cut, so some part vary this style a little bit. So both sides are smooth and this straight. Okay. 
I'll move to, to the second character, Ren, or Man. It's like a man uh, sitting in the, in the classic way you still see in Japan on the knees. Try to simulate the erosion of this the stone on the edges, so they look very old. And also, as an authentic uh, mark, you cannot uh, imitate this kind of uh, effect. You cannot copy this to fake the stone seal. That's why you know, we have this kind of broken edges and strokes sometimes and also very aesthetic uh, 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 appreciated the antiquarianism is the idea to simulate the ancient antique seals and this last stroke Take a stone out and then polish the edge to uh, make a little bit on this side. And we'll be ready to make a first impression, first uh, imprint. Now I'm ready for uh, my first test imp imprint. This uh, stone has a mark on this uh, side. It uh, can serve as an orientation mark. change on this stroke, make it straighter and uh, uh, make this middle area really rough. So some fine tuning. Sometimes this take a long time, uh, longer time than the carving. Now I'm going to make a second imprint to see how it looks. Oh, much better, right? Okay. I think I'm done. 
and uh, it's time to make an official imprint in my collection album. I will make a custom coffee. Okay, you're perfect. Okay, thank you, uh, Rayman, Professor Chaco, for your commission of uh, this um, uh, special artist style name, and I hope this will bring inspiration to your new paintings. Goodbye. Thank everybody for watching, and uh, if you need a special seal, please contact us at uh, blueheronarts.com. Bye-bye.